Over 10,000 red shirt people gathered at the Ratchaprasong intersection Thursday to commemorate the crackdown on their peers one year ago. His Majesty the King Pumipon Adulayadeh has appointed AMC Salit Puk Pasuk as Privy Councillor. The appointment took effect from May 18. The list of potential candidates, including a Chinese to replace Dominique Strauss-Kahn as head of the International Monetary Fund, is growing fast amid a battle between the Central European and emerging economies over who should get the top job. Update the news around the world with Sathapat Pathong and Ong Anand Amatayakun in ASEAN Newsroom. Good morning. It's Friday, May 20. Welcome to ASEAN Newsroom. I am Sathapat Pathong. And I am Ong Anand Amatayakun. Welcome, Kun Sathapat, for the morning session for the first time. Thank you. It's such a great honor to be a co-anchor with the morning program with you, Kun Ong Anand. Pleasure. Likewise, we start off the first news today with the 3G network. The True Corp and Cat Telecom are preparing to go full stream ahead to jointly invest in a developed nationwide 3G network following a decision by the Central Administrative Court yesterday not to issue an injunction against the companies developing the service. While the court declined to issue the injunction as requested by Total Access Communication or DTAC, it has agreed to a judicial review for the first joint in the DTAC complaint against CAT and its board relating to the CAT True deals. The complaint states that CAT's board resolution on January 14, allowing CAT to enter into the deals, was unlawful. The court said it had the authority to accept the case as DTAC claimed that it had lost the right to be treated fairly by CAT and to compete fairly under the Constitution and related laws, and that its business operations might be affected. The court declined to take into consideration the charge that CAT's signing of the deals with True did not comply with the related laws and regulations. DTAC asked the court to order CAT to refrain from executing the deals, but the court could not issue such an order under the existing laws. The ruling means DTAC cannot seek another injunction on the matter. <laughs> 